Hello, friends. I'm Pastor Pitts Evans. Welcome to the Whole Word Podcast. Let's get right to the Word of God. Psalm 54 is Davidic in origin, and it has a very detailed prefix that gives us the occasion. It says, When the Ziphites had gone to Saul and said, Is not David hiding among us? Now, for those of you who are familiar with the life of David, you'll recall that in 1 Samuel, uh, David was often fleeing from Saul. Saul had decided that David was his enemy, and uh, he frequently made attempts on David's life, and he would send out word uh, into the kingdom for people to come and tell him where he could find David and kill him. And so these uh, Ziphites in 1 Samuel um, chapter 23 came to Saul and said, "Uh, King Saul, David is hiding out um, where we live. And so Saul charged them to to go get some dirt on David and keep an eye on him and uh, said he would come kill him. And so this became known by David, apparently. And so David um, authored this psalm to commemorate the betrayal and the wickedness of the Ziphites. And so let's read now. Uh, This brief psalm, Psalm 54. For the director of music with stringed instruments, a maskil of David. When the Ziphites had gone to Saul and said, Is not David hiding among us? Save me, O God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. Arrogant foes are attacking me. Ruthless people are trying to kill me. People without regard for God. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Let evil recoil on those who slander me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will sacrifice a freewill offering to you. I will praise your name, Lord, for it is good. You have delivered me from all of my troubles, and my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes. So with that conclusion, we have to assume that um, when David wrote this, this particular trouble was already behind him. But it it, um, is definitely a prayer for protection from his enemies, and then... um, Uh, an affirmation that indeed he has been protected from his enemies. So it begins with a long prefix uh, that deals um, with the the way it's to be um, used musically within the tabernacle of David and the temple. And uh, then the specific occasion, it says, for the director of music, so that's very clear, very common, with stringed instruments, again, very common, a maskil of David, attributing the authorship to David. And then the the occasion, when the Ziphites had gone to Saul and said, is not David hiding among us? And so once again, like um, the story of uh, Duke the Edomite, who went to Saul and, and uh, reported on David's whereabouts and his doings, this group has decided to try and gain favor from King Saul, all the while uh, gaining disfavor with God's anointed, King David. And so David offers a brief prayer to God to rescue him. He says, Save me, O God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. And uh, David often places much emphasis on the name of the Lord, as we do. The scriptures uh, place great emphasis on the name of the Lord. So David's calling on him to save him and to vindicate him. He, uh, He pleads for God to be attentive. He says, Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. Once again, David uh, frequently asked the Lord to to be attentive to his prayers. David briefly explains his situation to the Lord. He says, arrogant foes are attacking me. Ruthless people are trying to kill me. People without regard for God. And so he equates the treachery of the Ziphites with ungodliness. And perhaps they were ungodly people in addition to... um, Uh, being against God's purposes in David's life, they may have just generally been ungodly people. David then makes a faith decree. He says, surely God is my help. 
He is the Lord and the one who sustains me. And so um, uh, this faith decree is applicable to each of us. Surely God is our help. Surely the Lord is the one who sustains us. David then gives one of his customary imprecatory invocations to the Lord to punish his enemies. He says, let evil recoil on those who slander me. Lord, in your faithfulness, destroy them. The strong words, but he was a warrior. And uh, he took um, uh, enemies and adversaries very seriously, like a soldier in our day would. And so he asked the Lord to, um, to destroy his enemies. David closes finally by declaring his own love and trust in the Lord and um, the fact that the Lord has come through once again to deliver him from the treachery uh, that's outlined from the Ziphites. He says, I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, Lord, for it is good. For you have delivered me from all of my troubles, and my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes. And so, like David, Lord, we can say that you are our help. You are the one who sustains us. Lord, like David, we say, hear our prayer, O God. Listen to the words of our mouths as we declare our love and trust in you. Lord, we'll praise your name, for it is good. And Lord, you have delivered each of us from our troubles. We have frequently looked on our enemies in triumph, whether they be financial hardships, whether they be sicknesses, whether they be situations we can't get out of. Lord, you have delivered us from difficulties, and you always will. Ultimately, Lord, in the fullness of time, you'll deliver us from the grave, exiting this life, and welcome us into the next one. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Whole Word. It was brought to you by Whole Word Fellowship and the Northern Virginia House of Prayer. If you were encouraged, please share our podcast with your friends. We'd also appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe in your favorite podcast app and take a few moments to write a review. If you'd like more information on our church and our ministry, you can go to wholeword.net or wholewordpodcast.com for more information. Thank you again, and may the Lord Jesus bless you today and always.